PC for free here with a review of the Rocket Isku Illuminated Gaming Keyboard. This retails for $69.99, which I feel is a pretty fair price considering its competitors around that level with all the uh, features. However, it is um, a membrane keyboard, it's not mechanical um, with these half height keys. So, yeah, still very nice to type on, really, really good. Um, for me, but some people who've used mechanical find it hard to switch from mechanical to membrane keyboards. Um, we've got a 2 meter USB cable. We've also got these uh, five micro keys here. We've got these thumbster keys beneath the spacebar. You've got your media keys here. You've also got this key here for adjusting brightness. There's six levels of brightness. So that's the brightest it goes. As you can see, it's a really nice blue illumination. Um, that is the only colour option, but I feel it's a really nice. I'm not too fast. Um, here we have the easy shift key, which is where the uh, caps lock button would normally be. So let's get down a bit more closer. So um, first of all, we're going to look at these five programmable macro keys on the left hand side of the keyboard here. Um, these are really useful. You can also use the easy shift button, so each of these can have uh, two macros assigned to them. The only issue I've had with them is um, when you've got your finger on the control key and it comes off, um, you go to find your space without looking at the keyboard, so you sometimes accidentally end up pushing M5 instead of control, and it can be an issue in some games. So uh, normally I've just taken to assigning this to the same button as control to avoid any problems. Going up to here, I've got the five profiles which are very useful. I'll show you that later in the driver software. And then this macro record button here is absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to demonstrate to you. So if I press it. Select the macro key to start recording. So um, I'd say I want to assign M5. Enter macro and press live record button again to save the macro. And you have these voice command prompts to uh, tell you what you're doing. So for example, I want to make this undo, so control Z. Then hit the macro button, and it should macro be recorded successfully. Successfully recorded the macro, so that's really useful. You don't have to come to the software to uh, record that. Um, then looking more at this uh, easy shift key here. So this easy shift key here controls uh, this area of keys just around here. Um, I'll bump a picture down in the corner of the video. You can also easy shift the thumbs to keys, which are fantastic. I mean, normally your thumbs are only used for the space bar, but the uh, these these let you do stuff with your thumb. Then you can also easy shift these, as I mentioned earlier. So um, with all of those macros um, also being linked with the mouse, you can do up to 180 macros, which is fantastic. I mean, that's sp uh, especially useful for MMOs such as World of Warcraft, League of Legends and games such as that. But it's also uh, very useful for first person shooters, especially when combined with Rockat's new um, piece of software or the uh, feature called Rockat Talk which allows the keyboard to communicate with the mouse. Here we have the Rockat Home Plus and effectively what this uh, Rockat Talk feature allows you to do is when you hold down the easy shift button on the keyboard, get the light going here, it also enables the easy shift feature on the mouse, so you're not having to hold extra buttons on the mouse, you can just focus on what you're doing. That's fantastic, I think. It lets you focus what you're doing really well. Um, you can also change the DPI of the mouse for quickly adjusting how you want to aim on the keyboard as well, which is really, really useful. Um, you should really check out the Rockat Talk trailer, I'll put a link to that in the uh, description. Um, other features is it's got the uh, 1000 hertz polling rate for a quick response. Got anti ghosting as comes at standard ready, so you can uh, push many keys at once. Um, then, I suppose a slight downside is that you've got no USB or audio inputs on the keyboard itself, um, which you might expect. Um, and then, flipping over, just so have a look at the bottom of the keyboard. Select a macro key oh. to start recording. Never mind. Um, <laughs> so here we have, you can see these channels for cable management. 
you've also got four very nice rubber feet in the corner and you've got the rubber feet on the bottom of the little keyboard feet so this isn't sliding anywhere it's uh, very very stable so I'm just going to give you a close look around the keyboard and then we'll move in to look at the uh, software so you can see it's got a very glossy finish to it which does mean it does attract fingerprints but you can clean these off quite easily also these media keys aren't illuminated which does make them quite hard to see in the dark but you can learn your way around them so now here we are in the uh, actual driver itself of the uh, rocket ISCU it's on the uh, first page here we're just assigning the uh, macro keys M1 to M5 down the side here and also the uh, thumbstick keys here um, now what I would like to, forgot to mention in the review is the uh, Obviously the easy shift function is on the uh, caps lock button. Um, I found that really useful, so uh, when I accidentally knock that, caps lock isn't turned off, particularly when I'm writing a document, because uh, you don't actually need to turn caps lock on that often. But here there are also um, lots of pre-assigned games you can uh, use to assign the uh, macros to, to do them quickly. And then also the uh, rock at talk feature, here the easy aim I was talking about, so you can change the DPI, for example, on the mouse to make aiming much easier. You've also got the uh, five profiles, which is great for switching between games. And you can also assign one as the Windows profile. So when the uh, driver recognizes you're in a Windows environment, then uh, it switches to that profile. Um, here's the easy zone control, it's called, where you assign all the easy shift keys um, for the keyboard here. The uh, ones for the thumbstick keys and macro keys, the easy shift versions of them are shown in that first tab. Here you can uh, you see you can do one to five and uh, Z to B. So yep, that's where you do them all. You can uh, assign them to pretty much most things. They're really handy for most games. Then uh, here we have the media keys. I was really really impressed with the media keys actually. Um, what I was very impressed with was being able to change the player because quite a lot of media keys only work for example with Windows Media Player which I don't use but these work with iTunes which is uh, my main music player and that was fantastic being able to choose between iTunes or um, BLC Media Player and Windows you can also assign the F keys to uh, macros you want like in specific profiles so uh, over to the advanced control you can change the uh, key illumination the timeout of the illumination you can also turn off the uh, voice telling you how to macro record, for example, and when you switch in profiles. So it's the option to uh, disable the Windows tab keys, which can be quite annoying during uh, games when you accidentally hit them. And then, oh, last but not least, of course, you can uh, download the latest driver and firmware and release. Um, so I was very, very impressed overall with the uh, Rocket ISCU. I'm going to award it the Silver Award. And also the PC for free recommended. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. It's been PC for free.